Hi everybody, this is Kurt with Two Brothers Hobby and we're here today to talk about the Super Cub Select Scale Airplane from FlyZone. Now the Select Scale series has a little larger wingspan and a lot more detail, so let's go ahead and take a look at what comes out of the box and get us familiar with all the pieces before we go into assembly. Now with the Super Cub being an RXR model, most of the work's been done for you at the factory. The whole front end's been assembled, your motor's already in place, ready to receive your propeller. Uh, on the very bottom of the uh, fuselage you can see the battery access hatch, so uh, easy to get the battery in and out at the field. Uh, you can also access your radio components during installation through this bottom hatch and then, and then uh, also through the top. Now this, again, this being RXR, it's ready to receive your radio receivers. So the servos have already been installed and are included. They're in place with the uh, servo horns already there, ready to receive the uh, control rods. And uh, your uh, main flight pack uh, lead is coming from the ESC, which is already pre-installed. So our fuselage is pretty well set. Well, moving on to the main wing, it's, it's ready to go, completely pre-built from the factory. The hinges are already in place, the control surfaces are mounted, linkage is there, and the servo is already installed uh, with everything attached. So literally you connect the, uh, uh, the wing supports and the servo lead and you're ready to go. Tail surfaces, same thing, they're ready to receive the control linkage coming from the fuselage. Uh, now these control surfaces snap together, or these, these uh, surfaces snap together pretty easy in the fuselage. The horizontal snaps down onto a couple of lugs on the fuselage and the vertical stabilizer comes down on top of that, moves forward and locks the whole assembly in place. So no screws necessary to be able to get that uh, tail put together. Parts count is very minimal. It's really not parts count. All it is is a few assembly screws to put the pre-configured or pre-built uh, uh, pieces together on the plane. Small piece of double-sided uh, foam tape for your receiver and a small servo extension to connect your aileron servo to your radio system. Uh, the landing gear is functional on the Super Cub. It does have working suspension, so those are hinge points at the connections and then also uh, working springs, so you'll get some, some cushioning on landing from this landing gear. Uh, and those are already pre-assembled and ready to go. The uh, wing struts again put together and uh, all the fastening points are ready to receive the screws and you can mount those quickly, it looks into the fuselage, into the, the, uh, right behind the landing gear and then into the intermediary and the top wing support uh, on your main wing. Your propeller is ready, always check the balance on that to make sure you get a nice smooth reliable flight. And we're going to be using the Flight Power ENX Lite uh, battery pack that's been sent for us to test with. Uh, this is pretty nice, it has a 25C continuous discharge and a 40C burst, so that should give us pretty ample power. It's a 3 cell 11.1 volt uh, LiPo for that brushless outrunner. And to complete our Super Cub setup, we're going to be using the Tactic 2.4 gig TTX 404 radio system. Rob and I have used these in a few different planes at this point, and the thing I like the most about the Tactic, outside of it being 2.4 and, and a nice quality setup with smooth gimbals and uh, server reversing and some VTAIL mixing, is it has a wireless trainer function. So when you're trying to teach somebody how to fly, you just can't beat not having to mess around with buddy cables or interconnect cables. You do a couple of quick uh, uh, motions at the field or during the initialization of the model or the initialization of the two radios, and you're in trainer mode and you've got a functioning trainer uh, radio that has no wires going to it. Simple, stable, and it works extremely well. well with the minimal parts count and most of the finish work done at the factory, this should be a quick and easy assembly. So we'll go ahead and put it together and take it out to the field and see how it flies.